Hello, today we will discover an extremely effective method of relieving pain and tension in the neck and shoulders, which will also help improve your posture. I have prepared a self-massage session for you, which will make you feel relaxed and get rid of pain. I would like to show you a simple technique that you can apply at any time of the day, whether sitting at a desk or waiting at a red light in the car. This technique will help reset your neck and shoulders, preventing and simultaneously alleviating pain. But before we start, I would like us to go through a few preparatory steps together. First, sit up straight and focus your attention on your neck and shoulders. Take a look at your head. Is it slightly forward? Our ears should be in line with our shoulders. To check this, put your fingers in your ears and drop your hands straight down. They should land in the center of your shoulders, where the seam is on clothes. Some of us tend to hold our heads slightly forward. This is particularly true for people who work at a computer for a long time. If this also applies to you, focus on gently lifting your head. This will help improve your posture. Feel your head gently rising up and slightly back, naturally returning over your shoulders. Now, you can do a little test imagine that your head is rising to the sky like a balloon. Your spine is nothing more than a balloon string, which is gently pulled up, not creating tension, just lengthening. Feel your head become light and your shoulders, as if by themselves, fall down and slightly back. This posture is the beginning of our today's adventure with self-massage. Now we are ready for the next steps. But before we move on to the massage, we will conduct a small test. Slowly turn your head and look over your shoulder, noticing how far you can look without moving your torso. Only your head and neck should rotate. The shoulders must remain motionless. Observe the furthest point you can see and then repeat the same on the other side. This test will allow you to notice changes that may occur after our massage. Remember to perform it again after the massage is finished. Now we can move on to the actual part of the massage. Gently tilt your head to the right, as if you wanted to touch your right ear to your shoulder. Do not use force, your head should gently tilt to the right without causing tension. Now place your right hand on your left shoulder, as if you wanted to pat yourself on the back. When you do this, start gently massaging your shoulder, from top to bottom. Focus on the back part, that is, the trapezius muscle. Use your hand for this, but be careful not to put too much pressure on the neck and shoulder with the front of your hand. It's your fingers that have to do the masseur's work. After gently warming up the tissues, we will move on to the massage. We will be massaging the area between the point where the neck connects with the shoulder and the place where the collarbone meets the shoulder blade. We will massage this area by pressing on the trapezius muscle there with two or three fingers. If you need to, you can also put one finger on top of another to get more pressure. It is important to reach the muscles more from the back than from the front of the body. That's where the trapezius muscle is, and that's what we want to put pressure on. However, remember not to overdo the pressure. When applying pressure, try to feel sore or tense places. If you don't feel tension in a certain place, you can move your fingers a little in one direction or the other. Usually, everyone manages to find a place that particularly needs relaxation. Once you find this slightly sore point, start drawing small circles with your fingers in this place. You don't need to make big movements. Make subtle movements pressing your fingers, in such a way that their touch is clear, but does not cause pain. Slowly move your fingers in any direction drawing circles. Then change the direction of movement and start moving your fingers up and down from the ear to the shoulder. Make small shifts, moving along the muscle. Move your fingers one or two centimeters while pressing them into the muscle. Then make a return movement. If you hit a trigger point, I discussed trigger points in a previous video. Stop at this place for a moment and increase the pressure. Push your fingers harder until you feel the pain and tension subside. This moment can be painful but endure. After about 15 seconds, the pain should subside, and the muscle in this place should relax. When this happens, move your fingers slightly in the chosen direction and check if there is also tension there. If so, repeat the squeezing the trigger point activity. Remember to always massage both sides of the body. So tilt your head to the other side and start massaging the trapezius muscle. Start gently massaging your right shoulder with your left hand. Give yourself time and try to feel the tension in the muscles. When you finish, return to the neutral position and pause for a moment. Breathe calmly for a while. Then repeat the test of looking behind you without moving your torso. 
turning only your neck and head, look behind you first on the left, then on the right. Do you reach further with your gaze than before the massage? Do you feel that your muscles have relaxed? Now we will move on to neck massage. We will still be massaging the trapezius muscle, as it is a large muscle that extends from the shoulder blade through the shoulder to the occiput. To start, place your left hand on your neck and start to gently knead it, as if you wanted to grab and squeeze it. Squeeze and release, squeeze and release. Imagine that you are kneading dough. Perform one to two squeezes in one place, then move your hand up or down to massage the entire neck. After massaging the entire neck, change your hand. Start kneading the neck with your right hand. Now place both hands on your neck each on its side. Bend your arms at the elbows and place your hands on the sides of your neck so that your fingers touch the spine in the middle of your neck, and your elbows spread out to the sides. Then move your hands two or three centimeters to the side, so that your fingers lie on the muscle. Using your index and middle finger, start drawing small circles on the muscle, while pressing your fingers. Move slowly up and down, massaging the entire muscle. Give yourself time, don't rush. After massaging the entire band, move your hands another 2 cm towards the center of the neck and continue massaging. Remember that the side of the neck is more sensitive, so reduce the pressure. Also remember to massage only the muscles. Avoid pressing blood vessels. After massaging the neck, relax your muscles, lower your arms and return to the neutral position. Now let your arms fall freely and your head rise upwards. Feel the effects of what you just did for yourself. Take a few deep breaths and feel your body rest. Remember how you feel right now. Let this state be your motivation to repeat self-massage. Perform these exercises every few days. And over time, your muscles will become more and more relaxed, which will allow you to shorten the massage time. Finding time for self-massage might seem difficult, but with a few simple strategies, it's quite possible. Integrate self-massage into your daily activities. You can dedicate a few minutes to self-massage while doing daily activities, such as watching TV, reading a book, or listening to music. You can even do it during your lunch break at work. Utilize time in the bathroom, in the morning or evening while brushing your teeth, or in the shower, you can perform a short self-massage. Set regular sessions, just like with any other exercise, set regular self-massage sessions to make it part of your routine. It could be 10 minutes before bed, right after waking up, or at any other time that is most convenient for you. Use moments of relaxation. If you have a moment of relaxation, for example before sleep, use this time for self-massage. It can help you relax and improve the quality of your sleep. Use time management apps. There are apps that can help you organize your time and remind you of the self-massage session. Remember, self-massage doesn't have to be long. Even short sessions can bring many benefits. The key is regularity and personalizing the practice to your individual needs. In conclusion, self-massage is a simple, effective, and accessible technique for everyone, which has many benefits for our health and well-being. Whether we want to alleviate pain, improve circulation, relax, or better understand our own body, self-massage can be an excellent solution. Thank you for joining me in this self-massage session. This film is co-financed by the European Union.